Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 4 in the How to Program in C Sharp course. Today we're going to be taking a look at what is called conditional logic or more specifically if statements. So this will allow us to expand upon our program uh, and teach it how to make decisions based on certain criteria. And that really expands uh, or really opens up on all kinds of different software that we can then write. So this is really an, an important lesson. Cool. So before we get started, I just want to thank Daedalus uh, or Daedalus for uh, providing today's uh, wallpaper. Uh, it's super cool. I've just started this thing called uh, developer wallpapers where you guys can submit developer uh, development or brackets related designs and have a chance to get featured. Uh, and also included in the HD wallpaper pack. So uh, whether or not you just want to download some cool wallpapers or submit a cool design of yours, you should head over to brackies.com slash wallpapers and you can download them here or uh, check out the thread with where all of the uh, designs are submitted and uh, you can review those that didn't make it to the wallpaper pack. Cool. So now that we have that out of the way, let's head into Xamarin Studio. And I just quickly want to walk you through how I solved the uh, challenge from the last video. So I asked you to uh, make a program that will divide two numbers and print out the result. And uh, here's what I come, came up with. I've added a bit of extra spice just to show you something cool called a go-to. So first off, let's try and run this program. And you can see that it asks for a number, apparently, <laughs> a number to be divided. And we can type in 30. Then it asks for a number to divide by, and let's type in 5. And once we hit enter, it says that 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. But the cool thing here is that when we now hit any key, it says, you can see that it loops and again ask for a number to be divided. So I've added this loop. So what I've do, done is, is basically declared two int values. I've uh, written out that you should enter a number and converted it to an int and all that. And then written out the result down here, which you can check out. Uh, just type directly in here if you wanted to look exactly as, as I, I've done it here. Just going to correct the error there. And uh, then what I've done down here is I've waited for the user to press a key using console uh, read key. Then I've uh, made some empty space by using a an empty console.write line. So it's just going to make a new line. And then I've used the go to. So basically up here, I've written start and then a colon. And that allows me to later in the code write go to and then start and then a semicolon to jump back on to up to that start statement up here. So that will uh, basically just loop the program. I could also put this, let's say, uh, down here. And now whenever we uh, go through this and do 30, then 5, and uh, then hit enter, you can see it just prints the result again because it just uh, jumps back to the place where we print the result. So you can put that different places in your code to make it easier uh, on yourself. One thing you will notice is that if we uh, play this and do 3 divided by 2, it says that it's equal to 1. And we are pretty sure that that is not correct. Uh, so what we can do is instead of using int, uh, which is integers, meaning whole numbers, we can do uh, what is called a, f uh, a float or a double. Remember we talked about data types? Well, a float or a double are basically decimal point numbers. A float is pretty precise, and a double is very precise. So let's just, for the fun of it, use a double. So let's type double there. And instead of int here, we'll type double two. Then instead of convert uh, dot two int 32, we'll do convert dot two double. And do the same down here. Convert dot two double. 
and then uh, we should actually be able to uh, divide uh, uneven numbers. So now when we hit play here, we get an un uh, a, uh, a decimal point result is what I mean. So when we enter a number, let's do 3 divided by 2, you can say that the answer is 1.5. Uh, and this also allows us to maybe divide 12.5 by 2.3 and it will give us the exact results. So now we can do pretty heavy calculations with this program. Cool, so now let's delve right into uh, the subject of today, which is if statements. And uh, we are gonna write a program that asks the user how old he or she is, and then uh, write out things depending on the age. So this is useful uh, for gathering data or for checking the age of the user if you're, say, making a uh, a uh, game that has uh, blood in it or uh, just want to check for explicit content in general. So let's do console.writeLine and inside of this we are going to ask how old are you? Question mark. And then on the next line we're going to make a uh, integer called age because age is uh, rounded numbers. And then we're going to equal this to convert dot two int thirty two as we've done multiple times, and then inside of these two parentheses we're going to type console dot read line, and then remember to open and close parentheses there also. So uh, nothing new here. What we are then going to do is we're going to type if and then two parentheses like these, but don't put a semicolon right here. That's very important. With if statements, we don't put a semicolon. And then inside of the, uh, the uh, parentheses here is where we will put our condition. So if h is less than, this is the less than operator, 18, then we can do something. I'm just gonna uh, show you the different conditional operators meaning the stuff we can check for. So if h is less than, then there's greater than, then there's is equal to. So really watch out that you have two equal signs whenever you're checking for something and one when, when you're setting something equal to something else. Uh, so this is, is a, if h is equal to 18, then we have stuff like is not equal to, is less than or equal to, or is more than or equal to. Okay, so we're going to check if h is less than 18. Uh, then we're going to open and close some curly brackets. And inside of those, uh, everything that will happen if we meet our criteria uh, will be put. So just like we have a function and everything inside the curly brackets that belong to that function will be executed if that function uh, is called. And the main function is called when the program starts. So that just means everything, basically. We have an if statement where everything inside of these two curly brackets will be executed if we, the criteria is met. So here we're going to say console.writeLine. And we're going to uh, write, that's too bad. You will have to wait a couple of years. Then after the if statement, and this is where it becomes pretty cool, we can do something if the criteria is not met. And even better, we can, if the criteria is not met, we can check for something else. So we can do else, which will just call the code if the criteria is not met. Or we can do else if, where we can then check for another thing. So we can check uh, if h is then uh, equal to 18. We can type uh, console dot write line. And then here we can write pew, barely made it. And then here uh, we can put an else statement. So we don't want to check for anything. And we can type console.writeLine. 
And then at final we can write you are allowed to enter. So let me just show you how we can read through this. Oh, actually we also have to put the, whoops, console.read key, just so our program won't quit. So let me just read through this so you know how to read these if statements aloud. So we are writing uh, a, a line to the console asking how old are you? We're then collecting uh, the age based on a, a console.read line and converting it to an integer. Then we are asking if the age is less than 18. And if it is, we write out this line. If it's not, we want to check if the age is equal to 18. Uh, and if it is, we write out this line. And if it's still not, then we just do else, meaning that if it's not below or equal to 18, this line will be called. Um, cool, so now we can just go ahead and hit play to test this out. How old are you? I'm just gonna write 17. That's too bad, you still have to wait a couple of years. And now we hit enter and the program closes. We can of course also try, let's say 18, it works. And then we can try maybe 45. Cool, so that is how you do conditional logic. Uh, you can make many different things using if statements just like this. So the challenge for the next video is to uh, create a small application where the uh. user uh, have to do uh, solve math problems. So what we will do is we will start out by creating uh, two integer uh, variables. Uh, then we want to uh, ask the user what is num1 divided by num2, just print it out. Then you want to collect the user's answer and store it in a variable. Then I want you to check if that is true. And if it is, uh, write out that that's true. And if it's not, uh, then write out, hmm, you better try again. So that's your challenge for the next video, because once you have that in place, I'm gonna show you a very simple way to make that a little bit more fun. Cool, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.